Hi, boys and girls. How are you? This is Miss Tanya here. And tonight I'm just going to share a, a quick word with you about um, praying. Um, as Christians, we need to know how to pray. And we need to know how to pray the prayer of salvation. We need to take Jesus into our heart. And when someone comes running into a room and they say, Hey, I want to take Jesus into my heart. You kids will know how to pray with them to do that, okay? So let's pretend that, first of all, I just want to say, let's, let's read Romans 10, 9. And that says, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him, Jesus, from the dead, you will be saved. Now, a lot of you have heard that, okay? So, anyway, we're going to talk a little more about that in the prayer of salvation. There, it, the, it's twofold. We have to, one, we have to believe in our heart that God raised Jesus from the dead. Two, we have to confess it with our mouth that Jesus is Lord. Okay? So it's a twofold prayer to get the power. The power of God. Anyway, so let's say I have this flashlight here. Now, whoop, I'm going to put the top on and I'm going to turn it on. Putting the top on, nothing. That's not going to work, is it? Okay. But if I take the battery and put it in and put the top on, what's going to happen? That's right. Look at there. I have the power. I am hooked up to the source. I have the power. So just remember that. You can't just do one. You can't just believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead. You just can't do that. You also have to confess it with your mouth. Two steps into getting the flashlight to work. Battery. Lid on. Turn it on and there we go. So. Let's remember. When uh, you're with your friends and they're talking about... Um, what is this Jesus person that you talk about? You can say, well, I can lead you to Jesus. And you can lead him in this, this simple prayer. It's nothing hard. It just comes straight from your heart. So let's close our eyes and let's pray this prayer. God, thank you for your son, Jesus. Thank you that he died for me. I am sorry for doing anything that was, not, uh, that was unpleasing to you, Lord. I ask Jesus to come into my heart, and I will follow you the rest of the days of my life. Amen. It's that simple, that simple little prayer. I wanted to share something with you. Um, so, let me see. Let's go down here to this part here. So, let me ask you a question. Who can pray the prayer of salvation? Anybody. Who did God raise from the dead? What did Romans 10, 9 say? Jesus. Who do you believe in your heart? What do you believe in your heart to get saved? That God raised Jesus from the dead. What do you say with your mouth to get saved? That Jesus is my Lord. And why do we need to pray the prayer of salvation? To go to heaven to get victory over sin. What is sin? Oh, that's the things that we do that are against the word of God. That's what sin is. And to become a new creature in Christ. All of them. That's what we that's why we need to have the prayer of salvation and that's why you can lead your friends to Jesus. So, um I just also want to say that this weekend is um Easter. And so here's a little bag that we have for you at the church. Um, encourage your mom and dad to tune in on Sunday morning at 1030. And if they come to the church, they can get a bag for you and they can get a bag for them. And inside this bag, there's, I'm not going to show you everything that's in there. There's a lot of fun stuff, but there's these communion cups. And so we're able to take communion this weekend all together. Um, even though we can't be together in person, we can do it. And so 
if you have uh, if you have any questions about getting online, um, you can call one of us. If you want to talk to any of us, you can certainly call one of us. Listen, we miss you, and we wish we could be out to, all together, but we will be someday soon. And remember that Jesus is Lord.